I got a package in the mail. And if you wonder why I'm out of breath. So this is pretty much a buffet. Um, so watch me as I do all my thing. I'm going to let you know about assassin sales. And you might need them. This, might, this video might help. And the way they do it is also a little bit on the nasty side. There's blood involved. All right, so here's the package I've been waiting for. And it this package is from Ryan from Wild Fish Tanks, or otherwise known as Lucky Schmuck. He was gracious enough to send me some assassin snails. And you might ask, Funk, why do you need assassin snails? Look at that. Look at that. Look. Look at it. I am not endorsed by Sprite. Okay, so I already opened up the top of the box just because I'm doing this one-handed. So let me get this out. What is this? He sent me another box. No, I think this is like packing material, which you can get it for free. So yay, Ryan. Let's see what happens. What we got? What we got? All right, we got a Ziploc bag with toilet paper. Come on, toilet paper. Toilet paper is moist, as you can tell. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, this must be Bounty. He's using the good stuff. Hey, there we go. Little assassin snails with a yellow spiral shell. Yellow and black spiral. But the question is, are they alive? There's only one way to tell is by putting them here and adding some water and see if they decide they want to move around. All right, so um, four out of the seven are definitely moving around. I'm not 100% sure about that one, that little one up top, and that one. That one actually looks empty to me. But those two right there seem to have their guts out like they're either about to come out or they're dead and all their giblets and all that stuff is falling out. Um, but that one, that one, that one, and that one, definitely, they ready. They ready. See that little tubey thing? Yeah, they looking. <laughs> You're gonna get it. You're gonna be dead. They're gonna eat you alive from the inside out. <laughs> All right, so let me explain to you how assassin snails eat then devour their prey. What they do is they take that long tubey thing and it goes all up in there like a, a long needle. It's, it's pretty much the entire, it's like coiled up in their body and they shoot it all the way up into the um, prey. In this case, it's going to be the ram's horn snails and it's like a needle and it, and it sticks them and it sucks out all the juices. So like they're vampires, you know what I mean? They're like the vampire snails, the 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 the, the, the Dracula's Dracula snails, the the Nosferatus, the what's another name for Dracula? They 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 don't glitter though. They don't glitter. At any rate, they suck them out. They suck it like a straw and pull it out. There is blood that comes out. I'm, I'm going to try and get some pictures. Um, hopefully I can find some pictures so you can see how, you know, how deadly these guys are. They're called assassin snails for a reason. Okay, so snails, these these ram's horse snails are coming and kind of climbing all over. Look, the ones at the bottom left, it's got like three or four of them on there. If you was wondering about assassin snails and shrimp, um, assassin snails don't normally attack shrimp, but if there is a sick shrimp laying down on the ground, immobilized, then it would, look at them, they're just hanging on top of, do they not know what the assassin snail is there for? They just, they just digging their own graves. But anyway, yeah, if the shrimp is, uh, you know, sick or laying on the ground, then they ain't go, oh look, one just jumped out of the sky to get in. They, why are they coming towards them? I don't know. Look at the one at the top. He's running. He's taking off. He's hiding. Anyway. So, yeah. Shrimp, if they're sick and fair game, 
their dinner, but normally not. Okay, so, all right, so normally, um, it's not the it's not the prey that attacks the thing. At least I don't know. I'm imagining that the prey would know that that's gonna eat them, and they would run away. But in this particular case, um, that's not happening. Maybe because the ram's horn snails are too dumb, and maybe the assassin snails are are just you know um, uh, they're playing the rope though. Alright, so now I'm starting to get a little bit nervous because there are more ram's horn snails coming from other parts of it. And that one at the top of that, the very top of the screen, it's acting like it's it's asleep. He's he's just dissed his friends. But um, if you was wondering about assassin snails and fish or fry, well, it, the same thing goes for them as they did for the shrimp. If a fish is sick and immobile or or they're not being fed enough they they will go after whatever they can but they normally want to eat debris and stuff like that and algae and and when they can they will eat snails but in this case they just seem to be getting beat up by them i, I don't even know what what is going on I think I'm the only dope. Um, there's no rope of dope being played here. Them, them ram's horn snails swarmed. They swarmed those three um, assassin snails, and it looks 100% intentional. It's not like they went over there out of curiosity. Um, there were snails jumping out of out of the leaves to come down and and uh, jump on these these assassin snails. All right, look, 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 look at the one on the left. He, he trying to run. He trying to run too. He's like, get me out of here. And you know what? If nothing else, I could always sell these ram's horn snails as some of the most aggressive and meanest ram horn snails in the world. Who knew? But listen, if you was wondering about plants, ram horn snails will not harm your plants. Um, like I said, they they they're excellent scavengers and cleaners, but they're they're gonna leave your plants alone. Look look at they are gangster, the meanest ram horn snails in the world, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I don't even know where the other two assassin snails went to. They ran, they tucked their tail, and they head for the hills. Those those ram's horn snails. Won't mess it around, man. They must have knew what was up. They must have knew what was coming. Um, and they figured they're going to get out ahead of it. I got, I still got the one Rams horn snails. He's holding on. But uh, I still got snails coming from miles around to get in on the fight. If I, you could call this a fight. All right. So on paper, it says you need about two assassin snails for every five to ten gallons i have a total of six now because i put the other ones in because they started moving hey look at the one on top that was pretending he was asleep he they they found him ah <laughs> they got him you ain't you ain't sleeping they know they know but um no it, it says two for every five to ten gallons and i got a total of six and a 20 so on paper it should be enough but apparently no I need an army of assassin snails like some kind of ninja movie where just ninja assassin snails come jumping out of the, air, of the woodwork but apparently the, the ram horn snails watched that movie too and uh, they decided uh, to take a preemptive strike and uh, the best defense is a good offense is that what they say this is ridiculous All right, so maybe I just gotta get with Lucky Schmuck and tell him I need about 47 more. But hey, listen guys, I appreciate you coming out. And if you found this enjoyable at all, helpful at all, I don't know how helpful it would be because they didn't do what they were supposed to do. But if you found this type of content interesting, I got some other videos here that you might be interested in. Um, could be very helpful. So like always, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and take care of your fish.